Okay, so here with me I have the Yishin H8. This is a great little quad, but it's missing FPV. So today I'm gonna use this one. It's an FPV uh, camera and the transmitter all in one. And I'm gonna attach it to this quad and use the same power output. Now, if you're interested in uh, this specific one, you can look in the description below. Now, it's important that you look at your transmitter and camera and look what input voltage it needs. And then you look at your quad. Now, most of these quads run one cell battery. That means the voltage is 3.7 volts. Now, my camera supports 2 to 5 volts, so I'm pretty clear there. Just locate the two soldering points where the battery connects to the board. That's where we have 3.7 volts. Now it's extremely important that you get the polarity correct, otherwise you might blow up your quad or battery. To prevent this, just make sure you locate the red wire from the battery. Make sure you connect that to the red wire from the transmitter. Okay, so now it's time to test the camera. Just plug the battery in and see if you can find the channel. On my camera there's a little button uh, on top of the left hand corner, which you can press to cycle through. Now, I cut my chassis in two pieces to make it easier to fit. Lastly, glue the camera in place and you are good to go. You have yourself a micro FBD quad. Now, only thing left is to try and fly it. Now making this upgrade is really cheap and it's really an amazing way to get into FPV if you're not certain if it's your thing. Flying this quad is really fun and even though I fly full size and way more expensive quads I still enjoy this a whole lot. Now this quad is absolutely tiny which means you can take it with you to all sorts of places where you wouldn't normally take your full size quad. That way, I've been able to fly this at a whole bunch of locations. You can fly in basically complete darkness. In this shot, looking at the windows you only saw like pitch black. It's so much fun just flying around your house and trying to explore stuff. The only major complaint I have about this FPV setup is that the antenna is kind of weak and I would definitely recommend to put some glue to stiffen it up. That being said, I love it. The range is great, the clarity is great, it sees very good in the dark and it's pretty affordable too. Now of course the flight time isn't great, I get about like 2 or 3 minutes maybe and you can definitely see that it has a lot less power than you used to. So I really hope you learned something and that you try this yourself, I would really recommend it. And then if you get bored of it, you can always just detach the camera and put it on something else. Now if you're interested in flying these micro quads a little bit more seriously, we're actually working on a complete new scratch build which will be up to soon on our YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that. I can finally see. see, 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 see.